Live from Shadowmere Studios, it's Talkie Box, it's good mood food. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just how I feel about that. Yeah. Good mood food. Good mood food. Yep, and you know. That's what we got here. Bad, bad middle life food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hospital bill food. Ooh. Ooh. That's nasty. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm Dave, and with me is, uh, as usual is Justin, and Jason is not here today. He's not. He's not feeling well. He's got some some rum rums in his tum tums. <laughs> <laughs> a little rumbly in his tumbly. <laughs> yeah, a little rumbly in the tumbly. And not, he's not hungry like Winnie the Pooh. He's no, 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 no. I don't know if he's sick or he, like he got punched in the gut or something. I don't know. Abdominal pain is what I heard. And That's Jason, literally the g- entire explanation I got. Jason, if you're watching, get well soon, and also stop being sick. Yeah. If you're not watching, why the hell aren't you watching the show? I mean, come on, you're invested. If you're not on it, you got to watch it, right? I would hope so. I'm sorry, I didn't watch it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, in place of Jason Knight, we have uh, we have my buddy Tech. Hi, how's it going? Tech's uh, first time podcaster, Everything. long time not listening to the podcast <laughs> <laughs> or watching the podcast. It's, Look, it's really the ideal it. situation. There's no yeah. misconceptions about what we should or should not be doing. Right. He this just be this true, could true to potentially himself. be the best episode we've ever had because Tech has no idea what he's doing. I'm going to be babbling all day. Just yeah. watch. Well, it's only an hour show. so yep. Oh, <laughs> for a whole hour, you guys yeah. got me babbling. That's fine. So about food. Typically, when we have somebody new on, you got to tell us about yourself. Like, what do you want to know? Like, all right, so I, here, here's the things I know about you. Um, uh, you're, you're Filipino. Yes. You're from California. Maybe. <laughs> That's what you told me. <laughs> He's going for mysterious. Apparently, he's going for mysterious. mysterious. I, w- I want to wear that mask that nobody can see my real face. You know, it's nice. It's a little. We're on video, dude. Like, it's too late. oh, <laughs> <laughs> is that what's going on? Yeah, yeah we are. We are audio and video. Yeah. Um. So you you work with me at day job. Yep. We're we're both cooks. Yep. In the kitchen. Uh. And then that's that's what I know about you, pretty much. Uh. I love cars. Yeah. I'm a nerd. Okay. You already know I. I know. I, I know a little bit of your. Yeah, yeah. my nerdy side is uh, mm. pretty intense sometimes. I actually found out today that, that tech used to be a larper. Yep. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Never done it. I what? work on it a just show. Has never done it with larpers ar- abound, <laughs> and I've like I'm pretty sure every guest we've ever had on the show has larped, but I have That's not. That's not true. Joey Joey hasn't. Joe, all right, Joey hasn't. You're yeah. right. Emily, Emily did, Mickey did, but yep, or still do. Both of them still. Oh do well, and, and Destiny never larped Destiny, either. Yeah, to my knowledge. Listen, remember Skyrim? I do. You get to be Skyrim. Yeah. I, could, I, I could dig it. Yeah. Just still haven't. <laughs> now, I don't know if you're allowed to talk about this, but it's something I always found really interesting about you, is that you have two birthdays. Yeah. You want, you want to talk about that? Why not? I okay. Guess. That sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Text so, the only person I know who has two birthdays. Fun, fun. So fun if you facts. know me, I get two presents. So you give me two right, presents. Right. Yeah, I'll give you presents for good, your two birthdays. Good. So my real birthday... Is my actual birthday, right? Like the day you were literally born. My, on. The day that I was literally born. Okay. Yeah. Now, in the Philippines, back then, mm-hmm. if you're going to join the military, you can't have family connections. You can't have your own family. You can't have little babies. You can't have little midgets running right. around. Well, my dad already had three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. But he wanted to be in the military. Exactly. Okay. Plus, at the same time, we get to go to Cal- California and come on now. Okay. Um. So. We knew somebody in the office. We got them to actually spill some ink on our paperwork. And then guess what? Then you get to choose your birthday. That Heck yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I am older now. Do I look older? Then. Then. <laughs> yes. One year, <laughs> yes. <laughs> one year later. <laughs> when, I, when I thought you only had one birthday like everybody else, and now I know you have two. Instantly older. Yeah, I know. You See? instantly look older. Yep. I know. I, I look <laughs> uh, sophisticated, right? Mm-hmm. Is that the word? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I did. I I I heard not s- about like having two birthdays, but having two ages. That's something that happens, and I want to say uh, China or Korea. Really? Where uh, just because of the the Chinese calendar or something to that effect they don't have all the details i'm basically pulling this off of like my ass and memory <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is where you keep your <laughs> where i keep everything ass, yeah but apparently that the some some people like their ages start at one like they are age one oh, is when you are born you are born oh, really? and you are one 
Okay. And as you age, you like you have a not a separate birthday, mm. but your age calculates a little bit differently. And it like it's about um, like respect to elders and stuff like that. Uh, but basically, like people over in this nondescript Asian country that I can't remember <laughs> uh, will be like, "Well, I'm 27, but I'm also 28." I, I, that's is it only off by a year? Like is that? I'm not. I don't remember, but I know that they are different ages. Oh. I think there might be some distinction where there might be like multiple years tacked right. on. Like I said, I don't remember. It's just something interesting that I, I thought I would ass. fill Look air that time up. with. Look it up. <laughs> you, over there. Hold on. We're not going to hold <laughs> on to you. Look it up. <laughs> well, I'm going to look it up in the interim all the same. He wants to make sure it's not coming out of his ass. Right. Well, I mean, it's 100%. definitely coming out of my ass, but we'll have the, the accuracy. Uh, let's see now. Two ages. So while you're doing that, Tech... Why did you move to Georgia? What brought you here from California? Because California is California. Come on now. So so our viewers are like, yeah, fuck California. But like You're here. I've been there. I, I I really enjoyed my time in California, like San Francisco, Sacramento and stuff. I've never been to Southern Cali, but um I enjoyed But David, you're here. You came for me? Yeah. Just before for we you. met? Just for you. Yeah. I, I, I I thought it in my <laughs> head and I was like, David's over there. I need yeah. to go. No, um I actually came for uh, my sister actually. Okay. Get closer to family. I haven't seen them in ages, so mm-hmm. I why not? Yeah, you know, um, better life, easier okay. life, and it's slower here. Okay. I know from your nod that you've come to an answer. On I've it. I've found <laughs> some information, and I'm <laughs> desperate to share it with you. Okay. All right. So, um, East Asian age reckoning is is what this practice is called. Okay. Um, in most cultures, in in China and in cultures in East Asia, newborns start at the age of year one. Mm. Uh, instead of zero and uh, the variations in date whereas with us uh, we change age on the day of our birth right. and the anniversary of the day of our birth mm. whereas their ages are based on the lichen um, so it's it's based on the South Korean calendar uh, instead of the Gregorian um, in Eastern Mongolia age is traditionally determined based on the number of full moons since the conception for girls and the number of new bo- new moons since the birth of boys so there can be a variation of 1 to 2 years oh wow based on their birthday huh so you could be that, that seems like such a more complicated way to do things you could be 28 or you could be 30 based on which system you're looking at i can't be either of those i'm much older no you are <laughs> you are i could yeah so you're telling me i can Start drinking when I'm 10 years old. You Possibly. could make a case for it. I'm going by that calendar from well, now yeah, on. Yeah, just yeah. from now on, <laughs> how old am I? And, and I'd be very curious. to make it up. Like, no, one, no one's checking it. <laughs> I would be <laughs> very curious to know how old I would be according to East Asian age reckoning. Right. So what um, would it say on your driver's license? I would assume that it would be going off of your actual Gregorian calendar birthday. But who knows? Tell us in the comments. I don't. If you have <laughs> you information, <laughs> you better tell me because I want to know. Yeah, we want to. We uh, want to know everything. We want to know your uh, birthday, I, your driver's license number, everything. Social Please. security number. Yeah. Debit a- pin. ATM pin code. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just uh, comments below. Yep. Or just messages. Direct messages. Yeah. DM. You don't want everybody knowing your business. Just us. Yep. We promise to use it for good. <laughs> Always. Good, yeah. old-fashioned evil. Yeah. Hey, we had an eclipse the other day. So I know. I have no idea when people will actually watch this. No, it's going to be of, well after the eclipse. As of recording this, it was yesterday. Yep, and the eclipse is everywhere. No, I mean, it was, really. it, was, it was up there it was for a little while. In the sky. For a short period of time. Yep. But I mean, information and news and oh, pictures, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is flooding Social media and news. Did you did you look at it? No, no, <laughs> no. I did Were take some. Working? Nope, I was off. Mm-hmm. I just did not um, care. <laughs> I didn't have the forethought to purchase the, Eclipse classes. Yeah, I didn't either. And uh, a lot of people were going out of state to go check out the Totality Path. Right. And uh, it just wasn't um, something I felt like doing because yeah. I woke up and I'm like, uh, I gotta do laundry and you know <laughs> other chores. So I did that, right. and then I looked at some fun shadows, mm-hmm. tried to check out the sun and the reflection of my car, and um, 
felt kind of blinded for a second. <laughs> yep, <laughs> blinded by the light. Yeah. I was slightly disappointed by the darkness. It was not quite as dark as I thought it was going to be. Because you weren't in totality. Zone. Not in totality. Zone. But um, <laughs> it was it was still interesting. It was still yeah. really cool. The the way that the shadows kind of like all the shadows were crescents. Yep. Like it was really wild. I wasn't expecting it. I didn't either. I I, I found out about that and I was like, that's crazy. Yeah, I have some pictures that I'll show you later. Okay. Yeah, I I didn't get the glasses either. Um, being in Dawsonville, I think we were probably closer to the totality zone than you, you were. You were. Um, so here, like I could have driven just right up the highway, um, to like the Delonica area where it was much more, you know, were you totality, working? But hmm? were you working? No. Um, but traffic was fucking ridiculous. That, that was, was stupid. An- oh yeah. my god. That was another reason I didn't want to go cuz I was just thinking about all of the people who were leaving town to mm-hmm. go see the eclipse. I'm like if I do that, yeah. I will be gone like all day. Oh, It'll yeah. be a 12-hour journey for 30 minutes of darkness yeah. and it just did no, not, not seem worth it. It's 2 like, minutes. It's 2 and a half minutes was like the full thing. Yep. If you were if you were like directly on like on the spot, it was I think 2 minutes and 50 seconds of darkness. <laughs> Which is still, it's pretty cool, like, to be honest. But No, and I, I um, saw some cool videos from some friends on Facebook where mm-hmm. uh, they were in the path of totality, and even, like, the seconds before, the seconds after the um, complete darkness, just because of the way that the sun and the, the moon were positioned, it looked like a 360-degree sunset. Like, yeah. just the way the horizon looked, wow. it was like that pink-orange yeah. for a complete ring around where they were. I'm like, that... That's it's really cool, cool as yeah. shit. Like, yeah. I thought it was really cool. Earlier early in the day, uh, uh, a friend and I were up near like Dahlonega uh, for other reasons. And we and we were trying to come back to the house, <clears throat> and we ended up at 400, tr- just trying to turn on to 400. They had cops directing traffic, and it, like we were parked in a turn lane for like 15 minutes before the cops would actually let us go. The heck? It was awful. Just, you know, scorching sun coming down. Not eclipsed yet. It's still hot as shit. And uh, it, we finally got back over here. Um, around, I guess, like 2 o'clock, I noticed, like, the, the light was definitely getting... It was definitely changing. Mm-hmm. And so uh went outside with my roommate. We just laid on the... Put down a towel, laid in the driveway, and just kind of watched it get... It got to about a dusk level of darkness here. Um, it wasn't totally dark. We did start hearing the cicadas come out, though. And 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 sing their scream song or whatever. That <laughs> stuff is scary. You just want to let you know. <laughs> I I heard that birds go batshit crazy during eclipses. I didn't That's, see it for myself. Yeah, obviously. I, I, but somebody I know was at a at a zoo or something, and like they said the bats started coming out and stuff like that. And of course, you know, a couple minutes later, done. So. Yeah, I don't know how the animals typically take it, but around here it was like bugs started going and they stopped. And they were like, oh, it's daytime again. That it's was, cool, guys. Why are you pulling our leg right here? Yeah. What's, what's wrong with you? What's, what's really happening? It was pretty cool, though. Like like I said, I wasn't in the totality zone, but it was cool. It was pretty awesome. Thank yeah, you. see, I, uh, you were the smart one. I, I laid on the concrete. Oh, you didn't put it, anything down? Yeah, it was hot as <laughs> shit. <laughs> I was just laying there. I'm like, ah, oh, man, the bugs are getting on me and everything. But I didn't want to lay in the grass. Yeah. I didn't want to get itchy. Get I, just, itchy. I just took a shower. So I was like, oh, you know what? Just Concrete. Yep. Yeah. Definitely cleaner. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, so what's going on this week? Well, now that we've had the eclipse. Yeah. Um, there was this rumor going on mm. that has since been debunked, unfortunately, because it sounded really exciting. But apparently after they announced the eclipse, uh, some people started uh, pulling up some rumors that we were going to experience 15 days of total darkness in November of oh. 2017 just by the aligning of the planets mm. in the universe. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah it's total horseshit. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was the, the, the explanation that they had was that um, uh, through... Jupiter and Venus crossing closely closely in path, which is impossible because they are, you know, hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of miles away from each other, right. millions of miles away from each other, uh, that there would be some sort of gas exchange and that that gas would then turn the sun a shade of blue, which would significantly reduce the sunlight we would get. 
all horse shit. If you read <laughs> anything on Facebook that tells you we're going to have 15 days of darkness in November of December of this year, it is bullshit. It's not going to happen. But we are going to have another solar eclipse in the United States in a relatively short period of time. In 2024, right? 2024, yeah. April 4th, 2024. Oh, just that day. Uh, full U.S. solar eclipse, only this time well, it's going to be coming from a different path. Yeah. Um, it's like well, Texas to Maine. Yeah, the, or this, the other way. I don't know. This last one, I'm, I'm doing this for you, stage effect. Uh, it came from like the Washington area down, which is why you were seeing more of it in the North Carolina, South Carolina area. Mm. Uh, this time it's going to be swathing up from a different direction. It's going to be coming from Texas. Up, to, uh, up towards Maine. Up towards Maine. Yeah. So we might get a little bit more of it, um, but it's going to be much more of a straight shot this time around. Yeah, it's not really going to happen. Like here in Georgia, you're not really going to going to see it but yeah i've i've talked to some friends who were thinking about going like texas or or somewhere going going and checking out why not plan and ahead 2024 time, you know it's only 7 years away yeah apparently the next time it's going to hit northern georgia it'll be 2078 ooh i'll definitely be uh dead dead, old. dead. <laughs> dead or old one of the two yeah. <laughs> i could still be alive you know with modern advances in uh medical technology yeah, yeah there's no reason time, uh, i couldn't live to be uh, 100 200 years old why not this time i'm going to bring my towel no, <laughs> I'm going to buy solar eclipse glasses. That's my goal, so you I can go actually and give look them now yeah. for cheap, probably. Like yeah, I, I, I think tons of them on eBay. Right, I right think they moment. say like it's you. You shouldn't keep them for more than three years for some other what? stupid reason. I don't know. That's ridiculous. Those things are dark. Oh yeah, but you're not now, apparently. To so uh, we have we have a friend Jarrett. Mm -hmm. And Jarrett used to work in Antarctica. Yep. And the sunglasses that they get down there because of so much glare off the ice and stuff uh, is actually perfect for solar eclipse watching. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> so he's got a couple pairs of those that he was he was uh, with some friends hmm. and using those. He he went up like right next to the South Carolina border. Um, he said he was within like fifty feet of the actual totality spot. You know. Genius. Man, that'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be Genius. really cool. Did you hear that people actually got married on the eclipse? Yeah. Yep. And someone, uh, a little baby was born. Guess what the name was? Eclipse. eclipse. Yeah. Yep. I was like, what? I did. I did wonder, like, how many, how many proposals were going to happen during the eclipse? You know. Oh. And I, I, I don't this, have a number. But in I this bet briefest it's a lot. moment of darkness. Yeah. Will you marry me? Will you be my light? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Hey, you are definitely more of a poet than I am. Yeah. I would have been terrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's dark. You want to get married? <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's the girl I'm going to marry. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> just put it on. Uh, hey, uh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> it's Ugh. nice. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see it. Is it is it big? Is it shiny? I can't so, tell. So we can be a light. So we can be a light. <laughs> what is the light at? Uh, eclipse. Oh, Eclipse. I'm going to name my baby Eclipse now. Hey, yeah. why not? Then everybody's going to be like, why'd you name it Eclipse? Because, you know, I was at the Eclipse. I thought about naming my baby uh, Mitsubishi. <laughs> <laughs> because my last name is Montero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm going to call him Sport. <laughs> 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 okay. Write that down. <laughs> write yeah, that down. Somebody write that down. Oh, me? I, I don't know any any woman who actually, who's actually willing to, to marry me and have my child and let me do that. But that's what's happening. So <laughs> it's okay. I I hope that uh, my next one is gonna be like Japanese, so yeah. our kids can be jalapenos. Get it? Half Filipino, half jala uh, half Japanese. I get it. I just Boom. don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> don't be jealous because they're gonna be jalapenos. All right. Is, hey, it, is, is, is Jason's this a play not on here? The we still have a damn pun. <laughs> <Wait, wait, wait. laughs> <laughs> is this a play on the fact that most restaurant workers called jalapenos Japs? Because I've always taken issue with that. <laughs> That's is that true? true? Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's definitely true. It's not yeah. coming I need, a, I need a side <laughs> of Japs is what you will hear if you work at a restaurant that serves jalapenos. Yep. Shorthand for jalapenos in a restaurant J -A -P. is Japs. Yep. Day. Yep. Yep. That's yep. true. They want that no Japs. What did you just say? <laughs> They're Are you racist. being racist we, to me right now? Yeah, yeah. What, what? Just you're, not, uh, you're not even Japanese. <laughs> what? What? I'm still Asian. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like me getting offended over somebody's Russian joke. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa! You think all white people are Russian? 
No, no one said that. No one said that. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no correlation. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'd be confused for Russian, though. Probably not. No. No. You're not big enough. I don't, I've never even seen you drink vodka. Very rarely. Those yeah. guys can hammer it down, though. Yeah, pouring back the vodka. Yeah. Vodka. It's, it's, uh, someone explained it to me. Like, vodka is just fun water. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have had some really fun water yeah. vodka. Uh, there was a brand that I had one time I was going on vacation, mm. and uh, we were going to the liquor store to stock up. And there was this very attractive liquor representative, as they always are. Right. And uh, she was selling us on this brand of vodka called Purity, not a sponsor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it, this vodka was, went through this special process. It was distilled 37 times, like just a distilled or filtered 37 times. Distilled yeah. 37 times, like super, super distilled. Yeah. And um, it tasted like water. And it was what? dangerous. No, it tasted like water. You'd only get like just that little bit of alcohol burn right. after you swallowed it. But drinking it, you couldn't taste it. You make screwdrivers, you're you're tasting orange juice. Wow. Dave is Dave is already all about. I'm it. very I, excited about this. Now. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll have to get a bottle to to, to test on this. We'll do some reviews because I know we had talked about another review that you guys were planning on doing at one point. Yeah. We'll do we'll do some vodka reviews as well. Okay. Um, yeah, but te Tech and I had had a. Kind of a makeover day today, Ooh. or not? Not like we were we were planning. And I don't want to give away what it was because we're still going to. Oh, do it. No my bad, my bad. Um, but we did. We, <laughs> <laughs> we all know when you don't. How does it feel to not be on the inside? Feels pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we went. We we both went and got haircuts today um, at the Paul Mitchell School. Not a sponsor, but they're fantastic. Uh, the Paul Mitchell School in Roswell, Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, here's here's my advice. To literally anyone, if you're gonna get a haircut, go to a cosmetology school. It will it will be super cheap. It's super cheap. It's at most ten dollars. I paid five dollars today. Same. Paid, yeah, five bucks today. It is, and for the guys out there, and some girls probably, um, it's pretty much wall to wall hot girls in in these in these cosmetology schools. There's nothing wrong with that. See, I got I paid twenty dollars for a little old Spanish lady to do this to my hair. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was relatively satisfied. That, that's four times what I paid. Yes, it was. <laughs> and I was surrounded by sports. Did she shampoo you? She did. Yeah. There's nothing quite like getting shampooed by somebody else. Right? There mm -hmm. is no comparison it's between so you, you know, trying to work it in there. Like, and you try and use the same hand tricks they does do. It not work. It does not does work. It not work. They have that little finesse. They're like, oh. Yeah. oh yes. Yes, I felt like you know a, I was in an herbal essence commercial. Well, yeah. Go ahead, put the hot towel on my face, uh, like just shampoo my hair for hours. Mm -hmm. I will be perfectly happy. Shut up, don't talk to me. <laughs> 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 just keep shampooing. <laughs> so, you, what do you do for work? What do you do for? I I I sit in this chair and you shampoo my hair. Is what I do. <laughs> just should, I just keep it for. going, please. <laughs> You're stressing me out. I don't want to think about work. The, I want to feel about. I want to think about your supple fingers. The girl that was doing mine today, she she actually told me she's like, you know, we we do like wash and drive. If you if you want to do, that. I'm like, I cannot afford to come here to take a shower every day. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I will. Don't tell, I'll do it, uh, <laughs> but don't let me do that. <laughs> don't, 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 don't tempt me, <laughs> because then you're gonna have like you've already written a check yeah. that I'm not sure your hands can cash. Mm. Because, I mean, first it starts with the head. Yeah. But then you're going to want full body shampoos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can see Dave now. Yep. Yeah. Take <laughs> me. But, like, do you have, like, <laughs> do you have, like, seven more of these head sinks that you can just, like, put underneath me? Let's now get the, this going. The only issue I have with it at all is the head sink needs some kind of, like, Cushion. cushioning mm -hmm. on the neck mm -hmm. thing. And I don't know why they don't do that. You can get cushioning for your fucking toilet seat. You can't do it for the sink? I don't know. I don't get it. Either way, I'm totally cool with it. Absolutely, like, yep. I'm still, I'm the still hands loving are it. Still good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it usually smells like whatever they use always smells pretty good. Yep. See now, like I go to uh, Sport Clips, not a sponsor, mm -hmm. and uh, they. Whoa. What happened, to Sonya? Sonya, Sonya is really far away. Uh huh. Really far away, and uh, uh, going and getting my hair cut. Um, I still will go to her on occasion. Yeah. Like just. Maybe once a year, I'll probably try and head out to her. Uh, but it's typically about a five-hour endeavor to get my hair cut going to see her. See, 
See, Justin told me a long time ago that he he met this woman Sonya mm-hmm. at some I don't know where. Uh, it was at a sport at a sport clips. Yep. And she was so good that when she went and opened her own salon thing out of her house or whatever, I guess. Yeah, you know, we we followed her. <clears throat> she was at Sport Clips, and then she went to go work at her niece's place. Mm-hmm. So we followed her there, and then she left there and went to a Smart Styles in a Walmart, and we followed her there. And then she just decided to start cutting hair out of her own house, and we followed her there. Um, but since it's it's <laughs> just been uh, it's such a trek. From where I live, well, five hours. I mean, it's 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 realistically when I go and see her, it's probably about an hour, hour and fifteen minutes to go and drive to her. But because I know Sonia and I love Sonia and we have a history, <laughs> the haircut isn't like a haircut you would get when you go out to just get a haircut. It's not just like a snip, snip, snip. What are you looking for? The, here you go. You're done. Right. It is a lot of conversation, mm. a lot of catching up to do. Um, it's a very slow process. The hair is phenomenal when I'm done. Yeah. It's fantastic. And Sport Clips, as good of a job as they did, they still don't hold a candle to Sonya. <laughs> um, but sometimes I just have to weigh the convenience right. and um, not spend five, do- five hours on my day off to go and get my hair cut. Now, that's one of the things, I, I, uh, one of the things I've, I've never liked about any, any place I've gotten get, get my hair cut. It's like I go there, I'm very minimalistic when it comes to my hair. Mm-hmm. Like people, <clears throat> people assume... That I'm more attached to my hair than I really am, because, yeah, because it's, it's, it's glorious. It's very and, true. And, yeah, but like, I don't care. You silver fox, you like? I'll cut it all off. I don't give a shit. But the only reason I don't oh, is because yeah. it's just easier not to. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, but like when I when I go, a lot of times I'll I'll do this thing and it'll really irritate the the, the stylist, and I call them stylists because that's what they are. Yes. But what I do is I'm like they're like, what are you looking to do? I'm like, I'm not really sure. What do you think I should do? And they get all weird about it. Mm-hmm. That's your damn job. It's like it's make like me look good. Like what would it t- like? What would make my hair look like you would want to have sex with me? But it's like it's like going it's <laughs> like going to done, a restaurant <laughs> already done. It's like going to a restaurant and looking at their wine list or, or looking at their menu and being like, hmm, surprise me. Like that is so stressful for people because it's like, dude, I don't know what the fuck you want. Like, it's not like that though. Like, it, it's not like I have a menu in front of me. I have like, oh, you but you do, and, like, Dave. Several other women. <laughs> you you walk by a menu every day. You see other hairstyles. You I know what I you mean, like. I do, but I don't like. I don't. I don't look at a guy and be like, I want that hair. Like, I don't know what that looks like on me. That's true. And it's not my job to know what it looks like <laughs> on me. But you're looking at yourself every single day. So Not you necessarily, want, but I mean, maybe just hire like a, a stylist just for you. That sounds expensive. I want I bought it ten dollars uh, worth. I want to look great, <laughs> like really sexy, great. But I'm not. I don't want to spend more than I would spend on lunch. Yeah. All right. Fair. <laughs> now, but that 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 does that brings me to another point. You know, talking about uh, getting your hair cut and like having people like they always want to have a conversation with you. While you're not necessarily hair. like the girl I had today didn't really talk. And the, and the reason was she like she even told me early on. She's like, I'm sorry, I'm not talking that much. I just kind of really focus on what I'm doing, which I get. I don't mind. Totally cool. Yeah. Same but with see, mine. Mm-hmm. But see, like, I feel like there's there's like a, a fine line of etiquette between like those service workers, not necessarily just getting your hair cut, um, where there's almost this social obligation to have a conversation. I feel like they feel it just as much as we feel it. Yeah. And uh, like getting your hair cut or getting an Uber mm-hmm. or something like that where there's like a social contract that says, so how's your day going? <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you do for a living? That's true. Oh, that <laughs> sounds like fun. So what are you getting into today? He's like, you know what? How are you? You're good, not suicidal, perfect. This is where I want to go. Just don't crash the car. <laughs> We're good. Just focus on the road. How are now, you doing? You're doing great, awesome, not homicidal, cool. Keep those shears on my hair, not in my neck. Let's move forward. <laughs> and I just, I, I don't know. I feel like sometimes I just want to sit down and shut up, yeah. and I would like you to just do your thing and shut up. <laughs> Look, like, no offense was, to anybody. My barber was, like, so into it. She was like... Oh yes, mm. yeah, oh, yeah. I yeah, look yeah. over. So first of all, tech out there late. Um, Sony's oh, the only five, one that I enjoy the five conversation. Minutes, five minutes there, still. Um, 
But then he ended up sitting in the waiting area for like almost an hour. <laughs> and I don't know I don't know why. Like I saw I saw other other stylists walking around not doing anything. And so this, finally this one woman gets done with the dude she's already cutting. And then and then I was like and it happened to be like kind of catty corner to me. And I see her like go and get tech. I'm like, okay, he's gonna finally get his haircut. And then I see her pull out her phone and just start like snapping pics. Snap pics. Snap pics. <laughs> it's because they like the smile, you know? You got a good smile. I'm not going to deny that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, and what she she said she wanted it for her Instagram or something, mm-hmm. right? Her Instagram and her portfolio and all yeah. that stuff. And I was like, all right, that's cool. You know, yeah. whatever. Do it to it. You know, yeah. all that stuff. And then later on, like when she's about to be done, I was like, she's getting too into it. I'm like, do you like it? I love it. Like, <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> well, we're good there. We're yeah. good. All right. Listen, if I don't get numbers when I walk out of this building, I'm coming back. <laughs> and there's going married. to be a problem. <laughs> yep, she was uh, married. Not just not not from her. Like, listen, oh. she's styling you up. Yeah. And if it looks as good as she's saying it looks, it should be it should be pretty easy yeah. to walk out. Do I look like you want to have sex with me? <laughs> exactly. <I> mean, <laughs> 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 now, see the one the one problem I have is that I'm so I'm I'll admit I'm a little cheap. Like I only get haircuts like every six months. This and is true. So the the problem with with going to these cosmetology schools is that I never see the same person twice. Like they've graduated by the time I come back mm-hmm. for the most part. Yep. Um, but I, I've had some really, really great ones. Um, the, the past, not this time, but the past, the two times I went were two fantastic girls and, and I wish they still worked there. Um, Jashley and, and Adrian, if you're watching, Hey, you did a great job. Look, you might be cheap, but you have some bomb food selections. That's true. Bomb yeah. food selections. Yeah. So go on. There's this thing at at work, at, at day job where, like, I'll work a split shift and I'll go and I'll go and get some food, and I'll come back to work and tell people about, about about what I ate, and they're like, "How do you always find the best place to go?" <laughs> yeah, you ruined my diet, by the way. Yeah, I do that. Um, and so today, after the after the haircut, Tech was like. You want to go to eat? And I was like, yeah. He's like, where do you want to go? I don't know, man. Where do you want? No, no, no. no. Where do you want to go? Like, oh, oh, okay. It's like that. I see what's happening. <laughs> I had right. to. I had to. <laughs> After the first two times you brought like food over, I was like, all right. Yeah. I'll, I'm talking to you. I'll, I'll go out to places and come back to work and bring like some dessert or something. I'm like, here, you should try this. It's fantastic. And they're like, oh my God, it is fantastic. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and they get all excited and then mad because I'm like ruining diets. I'm like, not <laughs> equipped yes. to handle this. <laughs> I'm just like looking at. It, I'm like, oh, dude, that. Oh, yeah. mm, just a little bite. Yep. Oh no, it was so bad. No. Yeah. One of the things I love to do is I love to find new places to eat. I like that. I I like you know I find places now go back to them and stuff. But if I can find a new place to eat that I've never been before, I've never even tried anything like it. You know, I found um, a couple months back. I found an Italian um, sports bar. Like it was, it was a sports bar that happened to also have like ha- your favorite Ita- Italian, Italian things. Men- yeah, <laughs> it's like an Italian menu. So I sat there and had uh, what did I have? I had like ravioli or something while I'm watching football and drinking a beer, and I I went back to work a little buzzed. Jealous. But yeah, it was great. And but and I brought I brought back a cannoli that was fantastic. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I didn't even know what a cannoli was until you brought it in. It's my favorite dessert, is what it is. So an Italian sports bar. Uh huh. Now, I'm curious about the layout of a place like this. Okay. So it was a really it was a really odd setup. Okay. <laughs> it was part of a part of a shopping center. Okay. Uh, you walk in the door, it's got like three or four high top booths. Like where you have to step up into the booths, which is which is kind of weird. That sounds weird and awesome. And off to this side is like a couple tables, a couple booths on this wall. And you get up to the actual bar where there was maybe I don't know, eight, eight, ten seats on one side, and then and then there's another side of the bar which is on kind of a patio area, where they had a whole bunch more other tables and then also seating on that side. Holy, it was a really cool setup. So, what's the name of this place? Maybe we can get them to put a sticker in their window mentioned on Talkie Box. I cool. I cannot remember. What it's, called. <laughs> it's been a That's couple a months. Great and I, name. I haven't gone back yet. I, I need to go back. Awesome to plug, Dave. <laughs> That's great. They're not a sponsor. I can tell you <laughs> They're that. not a sponsor, and they never will be because they'll <laughs> never know. <laughs> have no, no clue. I did. I did talk to the owner for a couple. I didn't realize it was the owner at first until he like pulled out his phone and he's looking at videos. And I'm like, 
what's that? He's like, I'm looking at our other stores. I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, I can check, like, I own this place, and I can see the, the cameras at, like, all the stores that we own. I'm like, what the hell, dude? Yeah. Baller. Yeah. And he's talking about, like, yeah, that store's not doing too great. There's literally nobody in the bar right now. <laughs> like, oh, that's, huh. Maybe it is a Sunday it. afternoon, so yeah. I don't know. But, yeah. Well, that would that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I love the idea of checking out new places, mm -hmm. and I tell myself that I love trying new food because I'm open book when it comes to food. Yeah. Uh, but also, like, my tummy is limited in size. <laughs> yeah. And I like to walk away from a meal feeling satisfied, so I'll end up getting in this situation where I'll, if I go to a place by myself or mm -hmm. even, even one other person, I'll sit down and I'll be... Like, all right, well, let me look over this. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Oh, that sounds really good. Oh, the chicken fingers. Like, it, I, <laughs> <laughs> like, it sounds so interesting, but I'm not yeah. ready to risk At the same time, not though, walking I've away from a meal. I've seen you order, like, so much food. I like variety. I like variety. And then you're like, and then you just have all this food, like, yeah, I didn't finish that or that or that. Did you want some of this? <laughs> See, I will. Yes. I experiment a lot more <laughs> when I'm with a group of people yeah. because I know I can pawn off the shit I don't like <laughs> on everybody else at the table. Be like, oh man, that was interesting. You want some? Like, I don't. I don't want any more of that. That was. It was cool. The texture was. You just, just, just try it. Just yeah. try it. But like going out, I feel a lot more comfortable. Like, like. Plate, like tapas places like going where it's just you just get small plates brought to the table mm -hmm. for everybody to share i am about it about it like <laughs> i will order tons of tapas i don't care about footing the bill everybody just try some of this stuff with me because i will i love to try food yeah but i also like to eat food a lot so if i get something that sounds interesting and i'm not it's not really hitting the spot I don't want to have to turn around and wait another 20 minutes to get another yeah. item that I know I'm going to like. I'll play mm. it safe. <laughs> just yep. get it all at once. Yep. yep. Just, yeah. all right. So uh, I'll try the lobster macaroni and cheese. That sounds interesting. And uh, the stuffed mushrooms sound great. Uh, and some chicken fingers. Like <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I go with this guy. Yeah. He knows. He, he does. He's brought me to some pretty cool places over yeah. the years. Today we went to uh, this place called Cheeky, not a sponsor, in uh, in Cumming, Georgia. Yep, I know Cheeky's. They you are. Do? I do know Cheeky's. Delicious. They actually used to be a part uh, of the uh, restaurant that I work for. I did not know that. Yes, um, we're it owned. Kind of makes sense though, but y'all do not have the same food anymore. Nope. Like that. No. No. Uh, I had a Cuban sandwich, which is Cubans are my favorite sandwiches. Favorite sandwich for, for one thing. So Cubans' favorite sandwich, yep. cannolis' favorite dessert. Yep. Let's keep going. <laughs> Good that, job. That's all I got. All right, cool. Um, and this place, Cheeky, has one of the best. Again, not a sponsor, but I mean, come on. Um, has <laughs> one of the best Cuban sandwiches I've ever had in my life. It is that good. Movie Tavern used to have the best uh, best Cuban I ever had, and they just went to shit. See, I was going to get a quesadilla, a burrito or something. I yep. was like, but David told me to get. Oh, I didn't I tell it. you to get. I just said, that's what I'm getting. It's fantastic. I sold it pretty, pretty See, heavily. That's, that's all you did. You're like, <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> all I remembered was cannolis. I'm like, yeah. All right, I'm, no, I'll get see, it. Like, I'll get for it. me, like I would, I would just put put baby in a corner, and I'd be <laughs> like, "All right, Dave, you order the Cuban, but get the large. I'm going to order the burrito, and don't think I'm not getting a fucking bite of that you Cuban. I'm not getting a bite of my Cuban. This is my Cuban. You can get your own damn Cuban but and then, a burrito. But then we both have the same thing. That's on you. No, I'm he, getting he does what have I'm a getting. Point, though he does have a point. Like, I mean, I get what he's saying. Yeah. I don't want any of his burrito, though. You I don't, don't just, know <laughs> that until you've had a bite of my burrito. <laughs> But he's gonna be like, this burrito is very it's interesting. It's so <laughs> good, Dave. It's very interesting. Let me have a bite of that Cuban. <laughs> like, get a large. Be it a friend. Come in different sizes. It's the one, the one sandwich. <laughs> and give me half. <laughs> he's like, oh, well, he now your burrito is a piece of shit, and I don't have the other half of my Cuban. I That's get your point as well. <laughs> I'm just saying. See, another problem that I have is like going to these restaurants uh -huh. and seeing a slew of delicious sounding items on yep. the menu and being like, that sounds great. That sounds great. I would definitely like that. Definitely like that. And I find all these things I know for a fact I would love. Mm -hmm. And then I decide on something and I don't get to try the other things. Yeah. 
but I don't ever motivate myself to go back there and be like, <laughs> I'm going to go on a menu adventure right. and just try everything off of this menu. <laughs> I just it, I just leave it in the back of my mind because anytime I do go back, hmm. I get the, the thing that I ordered Yeah, the last one time. thing that you liked, yeah. Yeah, because I know I, I like it. Fingers. I'm kind yeah. of guilty of that, too. <laughs> like, if I find... And that that's kind of the thing about, about going... To, I've been a cheese three times now. I've had three Cubans. Yep. <laughs> You're, you haven't tried anything else on their menu. I've had, I've had tater will. tots as my side every time. And but will. they probably have uh, have other good things. I'm sure they do. Yeah. And I one day I might. No, you won't. No. <laughs> you are a creature of habit. I am. You're on a six month loop. You get your hair cut and then it resets. <laughs> 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 That's pretty much true. Yeah. Yeah. But like all right, now I can go back to cheekies. My hair and has been cut. To be honest, I do find myself doing that a lot. Like. That's just the thing. Like, if I find something I really like at a place, that's what I'm going to get at that place. Why? I, why risk I, it? If I why go change? somewhere and I'm like, it was okay, then I'll definitely try something else later. But it <clears throat> it kind of steals all the magic from it because you try something you're like, it's okay. You're not going to be gung ho about going to that restaurant and trying something else. You're like, mm-hmm. eh, that was okay. That means their Southwest egg rolls are probably shit, so I'm not even going to go and try it. Like, <laughs> I do love some Southwest egg rolls. I so. love so- <laughs> If you I've give me anything it. with really? little... Oh, man. Just, I got a place to take you. <laughs> just anything so, that's savory that you just put little tiny corn niblets in. No. It just, it's their little pockets of sweetness. It's, it's great. No. I'm sorry. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I, found, I have found myself going like... Okay, I know if I want wings, I should go to this place, and if I want chicken fingers, I should go to this place. If I want a sandwich, I should go to this place, and and so that that's how I like decide what I want to eat for the day most of the time. The only time it's ever different is when you're at day job. Yeah, because that's the only time that I ever like vary around is when I'm at work. Mm-hmm. I'll try any number of things on the menu, and I will yeah. eat like I definitely have my limited menu. Like it's oh, yeah. like ten to twelve items mm-hmm. that I go for, but oh, what do I want today? Do I want yeah, no, I do that a lot. I want a burger. And, then, and that's tenders. why that's why typically I've just started leaving work during my break to go get some get some food. And uh, totally fair. Yeah. See, that's why I like being a cook at day job. You know, mm-hmm. I make my own food. Yep. yep. Yeah, I do that too. But like sometimes I'm like, I've had everything on this menu. And I'm not really feeling it. And you can only make so many concoctions before the manager gets on your ass and be like, "How are you going to ring that in?" <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> because I know I have to do that all the time. What is that? What it, it looks great. What is it? How are you going to ring it in? <laughs> How are you going to ring it in? Nope, nope, nope. Ring in the shrimp fajitas, <laughs> and then I want you to add tortillas. All right, and then I want you to make me one. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I'm not a manager like you are. So so when someone asked me how I'm going to ring that in, uh, I wasn't planning on it. I wasn't going to pay for <laughs> it or anything. I was, I was going to ring in the cheapest thing I can, like the cheapest part of this, and then add more things to it. Yes. Yeah. Accidentally I'm totally cool with it that. in there. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I dropped some onions in it. Oh, too bad. I guess Damn. I got to use it. Yeah. Oh well. You see, that's what you guys get for putting all these ingredients so yeah. close together. <sighs> Darn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> somehow I, I got like chicken over here and then the steak and I somehow put them all in yeah. the same place. Like honestly, honestly, guys, there was just a pile of scraps on the cutting board and I wrapped it up in a tortilla. Mm-hmm. Just turned out that it was the food was all clean and fresh I did, and delicious. I didn't want to throw it all out. Like that would be a waste. Yeah. That would be a waste. And I, and, and I know we're working on waste. We're working on our food costs. So I'm going to eat it. And so I'm eating this. <laughs> Now, when I was a cook back in the day, I would make any number of just wild things oh, back there yeah. in the kitchen. Be like, "All right, oh, what's this? Chimichurri sauce? I don't know what the hell I'm making, but it's going in there." <laughs> like, <laughs> I've definitely, delicious. I've definitely done that. Where I'm like, "What does this taste like with this spice on it?" Yep, fantastic. What about this one? Also good. <laughs> now you do find yourself when you're in that position, you get a, across a tricky situation every once in a while. Well, you have I identified. The few different ingredients that you really like yeah. and you really want in your meal, and they just do not jam together. Like when I was at Applebee's, we had uh, something called chimichurri sauce. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. We also had something called candied jalapenos, which Japs. were- Yeah. <laughs> candied Japs. And they were phenomenal. Like they came in like this jelly sauce, and they were like sweet. And, mm, 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 mm. They were so good. Uh, turns <laughs> out- hungry. When you roll all that stuff up into a burrito, chimichurri sauce, candied jalapenos, not friends. No? They don't get along. Huh. Not in here yep. or in here. Hmm. What about back here? No. No. <laughs> no. 
it's like there's definitely some infighting going on, yeah, and it's yeah. an explosive battle. <laughs> But <laughs> yeah, there are but some. There they are some, just don't go together. Yeah, there are some spices that actually do go together really well. Like uh, I found out, and this is how I, this is how I make my steaks now: garlic salt and lemon pepper together on a Bomb. steak is amazing. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. And then if you add like add a little bit of butter, some lemon juice on on it with it too. Mm-mm-mm. Put you know, oh yeah, it's an orgasm in the mouth. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't mm. I didn't even say words just a second ago. I don't know if you noticed orgasmic. that, but I, that's how it was. <laughs> Fantastic. Are you guys getting hungry yet? I hope you are. This, this entire episode is just going to make everybody that watches it hungry. Yep. At they're first, at like, first oh. they're going to be like, oh, man, I need to go and get like my hair cut. And like, now I'm fucking starving. <laughs> well, let's go to that place. That place. With let's go to that place that cuts hair and then feeds you. Like, what if they have Write that, that down. <laughs> <laughs> Patent pending. <laughs> Don't you fuckers dare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Haircut and a hamburger. Make it a two for put a TV on there. Boom. Haircuts and cold cuts. I don't really like it. <laughs> we'll we'll play with the name. Patent you, pending. You guys can give us the name, but you're not getting a slice. No. Unless it's a piece of pie. I'll give you a discount though. If you come up with a winning name, you'll get a discount. All right. Haircut and food. So who's gonna cut the hair? I'll we will record people recruit people from uh Paul Mitchell School. There you go. Oh, there you go. Right out of school. Yep. Might get the chick that did mine and yours. Look at yeah. that. Yep. Done. Don't Done be here. gross, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Neither does anyone else. Okay. All right. All right. Things just happen. Yeah. It just all don't the understand. time. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> just let it happen. It only hurts for the first time. Now, you now watching the video, you may notice that Tech is, is a well-built fellow. <laughs> He started flexing before I finished the sentence. Like he he's knew, like, oh, oh, oh he's gonna talk about my muscles. He's gonna talk about my muscles. I wish I was. Just gotta stretch. Uh. Yeah. And of course, we're all wearing the V-necks, yep. making our muscles look yeah. nice and dandy. Yeah, I do better. it too, but from from the side, it looks like I've, I've got a lot of fat right here. It's really just my one big ab that I work out all the time. Yep. It's a good ab, though. Yeah, yeah. Isolation. See, see, Tech likes to work out all six of his, right? I just. Oh, uh, I one. wish I had six. What? I don't have six. Anyway, I just work out the one, and I feel that uh, enough. Yeah. I work it out by feeding it. Sometimes that's all you need. Yeah. Yeah, but working with you, uh, these muscles are going away. Sorry. All that food. Sorry, not sorry. Hashtag. Long long hair, don't care. There it is. That established that. My hair's too amazing. Yeah. But I was pointing out because you didn't you say you have like a competition or something in Yeah, I got a competition in May. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be in Venice Beach in uh, California. Oh Jesus. Nice. Yep, yep. So I'm uh, preparing it for it now. And Taki Box is gonna be there to cover it. Maybe. I, don't maybe, know. I mean maybe I mean I don't can we know. Do that? Can we make that happen? When is it? It's Let's in go. May. Brian, can go. we do that? Let's go. <laughs> you know, if we do that, maybe the Talkie Box Olympics can take place in Venice Beach. That'd be cool as shit. That would be fucking cool. Yeah. You know what? So, I'll even tattoo your guys' name right there on the bicep. Yes, no, I that. won't. You should do that. No, I won't. We'll, Just we'll body paint it on. It's body paint hurt. is fine. <laughs> we'll, hint body paint. We'll, we'll, we'll get some henna going. Uh, yeah, you, you, you may not have heard this because you haven't bothered to watch the show at all. Um, That's because you never told me. Shut up. <laughs> so we're, <laughs> we, we, we've started something called the Talkie Box Olympics. It's going to happen next summer. Oh, that's going to okay. be amazing. Uh, what do we got so far? Do you remember the events that we got going uh, on? Let me pull up some of them. <laughs> I'll, I'll mention some off the top of my head while one I'm of, thinking one about is it. A, uh, was it Margarita Funneling? Right? Yep. Funneling Margaritas is yep. one. Um, the Shaven uh, Way. Shaven Way, which where, is which is a, a fun competition of everybody's partitioned off, right? The, all the com- competitors are partitioned off. They can't see each other. The The goal is to to shave off more hair than anyone else. I'm Asian. I, I already lost that. I don't have No, any- not necessarily because if other people think that not everybody is going to be willing to shave off a lot of stuff. Yeah. Because all we're doing is we'll just we'll have a big plastic mat down there. People will shave as much hair off as they feel mm-hmm. comfortable with. From and entire then, body. Head, face, pits, stuff, whatever. asshole, whatever. Stuff. And then we'll put it all into a bag, and we will weigh it on a scale. Yep. And the one that's shaved off the most wins. Yeah. So that who's crazy enough to shave? the nastiest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to lick it or anything. Like, <laughs> there's something moving over there. What, what is that? What is that? We, we also have uh, uh, bobbing for kittens. <laughs> Don't we, tell me you're going to put kittens in the... We have a, a, it won't be a water. It'll just be like a kiddie pool or something. We have a bacon <laughs> eating contest. Yep. Bacon eating contest. Bacon eating contest. Easter That's egg easy. scavenger hunt. Uh, a donkey booth. And, of course, kickball. Kickball. 
Because <laughs> why not? Yep. Kickball. Kickball tournament. Because it's just fucking fun. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't You love can't kickball? turn down... No one can turn down kickball. You want to play kickball? Unless uh, you're in a wheelchair. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys so you're saying you're going to roll a ball at me instead of lobbing... Like, you're going to roll a rubber bouncy ball at uh-huh. me instead of lobbing a wooden or leather-covered ball that I have to hit with a bat. Yeah. Instead, it's a bouncy ball that I just have to kick. Uh-huh. Yeah, much easier, yes. Yes, kick Signed ball. up. Kick just want to let you know, mm. never played. You've you never, never played kickball? Played kickball? Dead serious. Then you are going to be in for a treat next year. I played year. four squares. Yep. Oh, I think we also added tetherball. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> dude. I'm short. So? People are just going to... It eventually gets to the bottom, and then you... Yeah, then they're all ready to go win. You just work on your... On like, just be better. Yeah, be and better. On the Get good. Yeah. <laughs> Get good. Oh. Um, I feel like we added something else the other day. We might have. I'd have to search through my uh, we should, archive We should really uh, compile. Yeah, we, <laughs> we should be better at organizing. Maybe Brian knows. Brian, can you let us know what it... Uh, I'm almost... S- S&M Brian. I'm almost certain Brian knows. <laughs> yeah. You don't know. Brian is our social media director, or S&M Brian. Uh, oh. He's also That's a good our, name. Yeah. He's also our tech guy. Uh, he makes it so this, this whole thing works out. Uh, <laughs> yep. I think we're actually going to be on Spotify soon. Oh, cool. that would be really what? nice. Yeah, they've started doing a podcasting on Spotify, and I know Brian was uh, was working that out, um, doing my job for me, which is great. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, it's pretty great. Thanks, man. You're amazing. I'm trying to get him. So Brian lives down in Orlando where it's hot as shit right now, and I'm trying to get him to come up here and uh, come be on the show and hang out for a little bit. And he's like, yeah, I'll totally do that. He's not doing that. Well, with your big house, you, you got room. Not fair. <laughs> well, I think Jason was talking about putting Dicks on Parade uh, into the contest, but I was oh, yeah, uh, right. Dicks on Parade. Dicks on Parade. So me. last week, <laughs> uh, we were talking about uh, dating apps. And, um, I think it was two weeks ago. Was it two weeks? No. I don't know. No, it. it was anyway. last week. It was last week. We were talking about uh, dating apps, and uh, we got on to... No. Yes, it was last week. We got into a conversation about Tender. And uh, Jason had this conception about Tinder that it was simply a place where you posted pictures of your genitalia and swiped <laughs> left or right. <laughs> and somehow this spawned uh, some of Jason's lifelong dreams of basically <clears throat> dressing up his penis and putting it into a shadow box. <laughs> and like Or a calendar. Or a calendar. And my, my head immediately went to dinner for schmucks and like the little <laughs> mouse exhibits that he has in there and just... Penises dressed up, carrying around umbrellas, crossing a bridge. I don't know. <laughs> He's going to be that skit guy. He's going to be like, it's my dick in a box? Yeah. No, it would be a whole new meeting to dick in a box. Because <laughs> that, know, that dick is dressed that, up. <laughs> I mean, it would still be a dick in a box. <laughs> yeah. But It's it, a fancy dick in a box. It, it, it would probably be one of the few situations where you would reveal the dick in the box and be like, don't touch it. Like it's it's perfect. This is the only time that I tell you don't, don't touch it. I'm showing it. To, I'm showing it to you. Don't touch no, it. Like that. No, that no, move that. Never back. anywhere move else. Back. Yeah. Never out elsewhere in the man world does that happen. Where yeah, pretty much no. No, you show it. Then there's there's some Stuff is in or the doctor's office. I guess another where you're like hey, here it is. Please don't. Just don't. Talk. I mean, cold heads, cold heads. Yeah. There, there's there's a difference I think between it being exposed and being revealed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, like when you're in like when you're in the like at the gym and you're like getting changed in the locker room, you're not like, ladies and gentlemen, for your enjoyment. But no, but I I don't think that happens at the doctor's office either, unless no, your that, doctor's that's... like hot. But even still, probably inappropriate. Yeah. Listen, have you been to the but gym? If you... In in the locker rooms, I have. There's some guys. That just walks around. It's like, what are you doing, dude? Yeah. We, we all don't want to see that. I've always been really uncomfortable with that. Like, I'm the guy that when I'm in the gym, I get over by my locker, which is very strategically selected in that uh, it is the minimal exposure through the rest of the locker room. Heck yeah. Like, I have my, my locker in the corner. Like, all right, get my stuff out. All right, he's washing his hands. Okay, get my underwear ready. And whoop, whoop. No, all right. all cool. Right. We're good. We're good. Cool. 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 Well, the towel, you know, you got to hold it. It's uncomfortable. You know, I just want to let you know that there is bathrooms there. There are, but I don't know. I feel like it's even more awkward to go into a bathroom stall 
to change in a locker room when other people are likely waiting on that to shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I don't know. I feel like me being a little awkward out in the open, getting dressed is far less awkward than gathering up all of my shit and, like, going into a bathroom stall and putting my shit on a toilet seat so I can change. I don't know. Yeah, I get it. I haven't been to a gym since, like, 2001, but no, I get it. We were but supposed there, to go work out, sir. But there are guys... You're going to murder me in the gym, too. <laughs> there are guys who are, you know, they have no shame, no care oh, whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, all right, well, just naked in front of the mirror... Brushing my teeth, comes out of nowhere. Just shaking hey, a little bit going, too guys? much. <laughs> yep. How you doing? Hey, you get it in today, buddy? Uh, in in what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, the, the, I don't the the, the, the workout <laughs> that that I put my what in the workout? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but and then they'll you know be putting on their deodorant, and then they grab their baby powder, yeah. and it's like, dude, god damn it, go do that somewhere else. And yeah, and and for this, some reason they 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 always. They always put their pants on last. Yeah, it's the last thing. <laughs> like, we're going to put, put on the shirt. We're going to go ahead and put the tie on. They're like, nobody look at my nipples. <laughs> I got to put the, I got to get the top dressed first. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. Don't put your foot up on the bench. It doesn't belong there. <laughs> it just don't touch me while you don't have anything on. Yeah. But I feel the same way about like in the bathroom, like even just going to the urinal, mm. the people who insist on talking in the bathroom, it's just another one of those things like get in here, do your business and shut the hell up. I don't, like, hey, I don't, you doing? I don't you doing? honestly have that problem. I don't I'd, mind talking in the bathroom because like everybody, typically everybody's minding their own business, like just staring at the wall or their own dick. Yeah, but, but like, see, my, my whole thing is, is if, if my dick is in my hand, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> so like, I'll, I'll be like right next to me. I'll be at the urinal. I'll be like, Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> man, this is kind of a, a crazy hot day out there. Like, <laughs> yep. So what are you doing over there? Uh, <laughs> Even worse is like when I hear people on the phone yeah. when they are in the bathroom stall. Right. That one just drives me up a wall. I will ignore a call if I am on the phone. If I'm like on the toilet, ignore, ignore, yeah. silent. <laughs> but I hear other people like, no, man, they were telling me the other day that they were going to come by and <laughs> they, they didn't. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Like, damn it, dude, do you think they don't know what you're doing? There is a specific <laughs> echo that you hear in a bathroom. It's very distinct. If you hear that echo when you're on the phone with someone, you know where the fuck they are. Just, especially press, that when they, just press that red button. Especially when they pause to grunt. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's <laughs> not kosher. Of well, course, they're going to ask you that question. Are you in the bathroom? No, man, I'm not in the bathroom. No, no, it's just a uh, you know, a foyer. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to put a PSA together for etiquette, like yeah. for talking to people in inappropriate places etiquette. Well, on that, that's the end of the show. Whoa. Yeah, we're done. Damn. That was I mean, we got fast. a couple minutes, but you know, we got to get to what we learned. Yep. And today I learned that Justin is very... He didn't want to be talked to in the bathroom. Don't. Or the <laughs> locker room. Very passionate about yeah. that. And he can pull when a lot the, of shit expo- out, of that, out of his ass. Yeah, he pulls so much out of his ass. <laughs> but not in the locker room. What did you learn today? What did I learn? I learned that, uh, that Tech has two birthdays, yep. which is really cool. Mm-hmm. I want to figure out how I can get a second one. He's also uh, got two Asia. names as far as I know. We can talk I about have, that later if you want. Yeah, I have yeah. a lot of la- I have two last names, two first names, kind of, sort of, <laughs> two middle names. So you're two people. So it's kind of like a like a reverse twin situation. Instead of one person, instead of two people with different names who look alike, you're one person I who's actually my, two uh, my, uh, I- twin. identities. You have two identities. Yeah. I told you I ate my twin at birth. Apparently, and yep. you kept everything See? about him. See? It's it's a real shame that we've, we've been mentioning this on the show because you could very easily have a totally legitimate legal alias. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Nobody watches. All right, cool. So, yeah. What'd you learn today? I learned that uh, you know when you're in a salon, do not talk to you 
at all. No, no, no. I'm uh, very passionate about my. J- my Justin doesn't want to be taught to at any point. Not always getting his hair washed. Not always got his dick in his hand. <laughs> like when, he, when he's ordering his. his no, beer, no. His, uh, now listen. Fingers. Don't <laughs> only chicken fingers. Don't misconstrue. There are times when I have my dick in my hand. It is okay to talk to me. <laughs> You guys will never be present for that. <laughs> oh, no, no, talking about the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going over there? It's it's going. <laughs> and then his is the bag with the moving little. Uh, yeah, whatever. Oh, oh what, 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 what is this? What are you cheating? <laughs> All right. Well, that's well, it for, that's uh, the show. for this week's show. Thanks for thanks for tuning in or whatever it is you did to, to watch us on YouTube or TigerBox.net. And, uh, you know, check us out more stuff. Tech, actually watch the show. That'd be great. Check us and out more <laughs> stuff. <laughs> if you actually told me. Now yeah. I actually know about the store. Now you know. Show. Now you know. Yep. Like, subscribe, follow. Yeah, do all those good things. Comment. Have a great night. Have a great night. Bye.